has a, a, a long history actually, it goes back even 16th century um, and it started in Italy or in southern Europe um, as, as little tiny pieces of theatre in the middle of more serious bits of theatre, I presume to cheer the audience up. And it developed in Italy, then it developed in France and the com com Comédie de l'Arte. And the basis of farce is essentially that um, it's all to do with the plot. And pe people get themselves into silly situations and then have to lie to get out of them. Very often comedies are called farces and they're not. Comedy relies on the lines. Comedy relies on joke lines and situations. Farce relies on this build-up of ridiculous situations which people take seriously. Um, and other, the characters, so there are brazen lies being told and the characters don't react to them at all. Which is very funny, of course. Theatrically, it's quite a hard form to work in because the lines come thick and fast. There's very often a reasonable amount of movement around the stage. And when lines come thick and fast and they're fairly short lines, the actors have a challenge, which I have to say this cast has met beautifully. I'm very lucky I've got people who fitted in beautifully as a team. Farces are team working. There's no room for a star or, or a main character or whatever. It's always team working because the whole thing has to work together. So it's very hard work for them. And I think I'm very pleased with how this has gone so far. It's going to be a really good night. If you'd like tickets, you can go on the website, you can call in at the Rocks Office Theatre, or you can ring 0116, I have to check this, 2551302, and, and you can get them. What we can promise you is a, a, a night which will chase away the winter blues, and chase away the Trump blues, or the Brexit blues, or all the other things that might cause you to be worried at this time of year.